Yo, hello everyone. Are you tired of switching between Notion and Outlook to keep track of your tasks and emails? In this video, we will show you how to integrate Notion with Outlook so that you can have all your important information in one place. So, let's get started. Make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So, the first thing that I will need you guys to do is simply launch your browser. Right from this point, I will need you to go to your URL section, search for Notion. From here guys, go ahead and click on this link which is Notion, your Wikidocs project. And then click on get Notion for free through this button. Here, what you have to do is sign up with an email address or continue with Google, Apple ID, or you can also continue with SML, SSO. Let's continue with our work email and here let's give them a code. For example, hamburger. This is just an example for a sign up code. But for me, I'm going to continue with Google so I have everything fast. Now I have created my account successfully. So, how are you planning to use Notion? For my team, for personal use, or for school? If your team, you will cooperate on your docs, projects, and wikis. If for personal use, why better think more clearly, stay organized. And of course for school, keep your notes, research, and tasks in all in one place. I'm going to do it for school. Click on continue. And they are going to take us to our workspace. So this is our workspace. And here you might find everything from quick notes, if you'd like to add any quick notes, for example, make to-do list, for example, wake up, brush teeth, eat breakfast, uh, trans uh, like uh, exercise, read books, uh, whatever you'd like. Here you can check your personal home where you have your daily movie list, recipes, life, yearly goal, travel plans, etc. Which is pretty cool stuff to have since sometimes our most of us guys are not organized you don't have goals in life and this will help you actually achieve more stuff in your life and feel more proud of yourself here you will find your task list to do doing done you can here add simply any task you'd like and here doing and done of course you can for example here if i'm going to add here um exercise if I'm done with it, just can just drag it over here and take it here and yeah, it will be done. Here for example, I can delete it. And that's it. Here's the journal where you can write anything you think of, like this is your diary basically. And here the reading list. If you have any books to read in the upcoming days, you can just save it over here and read them later on. You can even rate them here, give them a status if you, you started it in progress, when have you stopped, the link of it, and much more as you can see here. And the best thing about this website is they giving you everything in detail, from the links, from stuff, etc. So here guys also, you can create a team space. Just by going here, create team space, you can actually create team space so you can invite other members and other people to your team and start sharing the journal, the task list, personal, and quick notes. And yeah, that's it for now. So now, if you'd like to actually connect Notion with any other application, you would like an intermediate, intermediate application which called Zapier. Zapier is an application which will help us connect Notion with any other application that we have in mind. If we logged out, and we start a new free trial account and we logged in into our accounts. This is how it's gonna look like when it will first open. Here you are simply going to choose the application that you are willing to connect with each other. So it can be whatever application you have in mind. So here first I'm going to pick Notion and then here we're gonna choose whatever application else we want in our case, we are going to use any application possible that actually connects with Notion. So if I were to hear Notion, you'll find here 
bunch of applications that support it. So if we like, for example, D, these are all the applications that support it. A, again, this one, B, and yeah, they are infinite. With Zapier, guys, you can connect two apps to do an automation for you. If you'd like to do more than one app, you can simply click here to upgrade your plan and make the plan into like a starter, professional, team, or company. Each one will give you more zaps to do and more tasks also to do in each zap. And I highly recommend you guys to go for the professional one if you are going to really go into deep with zaps. They will give you a limited zap in two minutes update time, which is really, really good with 2K tasks per month. So I highly recommend you guys to go for this one as an example. But yeah, it is completely up to you. So now let's continue with the main tutorial. So now guys, I'm going to connect Notion with Outlook. It is as simple as this. Click here, out, and here it is, Microsoft Outlook. It is as simple as that. And now do the trigger that you want to connect it. For example, when this happens, then do this. So select a trigger, new database item, select an action. You can do create contact, create draft email, find contact, update contact, send email, and much more. So for example, you can create an event. Here, just like that, what I'm going to do is click on try it. Now, make sure to connect your Notion account. So just go here, click on sign in. Now it is loading for us and give the permission, click this, allow access and we have signed in successfully, continue and it is connected as you can see and here choose a value that you want to add. Now I'm going to add this for example, continue, trigger has been connected, this trigger and in this case, we don't have really any trigger confirmed, but anyway, it has been connected successfully for Notion. Now we are going to click on continue. Here, you will have to connect your Microsoft Outlook account by clicking on sign in. And then you will have to do the same stuff that you have gone through. Do the same trigger, do the same thing. And once everything is ready for you and this logo showed up in both sides in Notion and Outlook, that means that you are ready to go. All you have to do next is simply click here on Fix to Publish and click on it and it will be published. So from now on, anything that you do that triggers Notion, it will do an action in reverse on Outlook. So that is what Zapier for, but remember guys, you only have a hundred times until your uh, task will be ended. So make sure to use them wisely and do not draw while using them. So guys, that was completely up to this video. I hope you liked it and see you guys in the next tutorial.